Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying integers. And these are the possible problems that you will encounter throughout this video. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have created different videos about integers. Meron tayong addition, we also have subtraction, and again, um, as I could remember, meron rin tayong video about multiplying and dividing, pero... I will try to rebump our video or I will create a new version of it. Okay? So here's the direction. Multiply the following integers. So I have here six different examples. And later on, I will give you one example or one item for your activity. So what is the rule in multiplying integers? Now, if you will multiply two integers, ito yung rule natin. If meron kang positive times positive that is equal to a positive answer. If meron ka namang negative times a negative integer, that is also equal to a positive integer. And then, if you have a negative integer times a positive integer, that will give you the product of negative integer. If meron ka namang positive times another negative, that will give you a negative integer. So, to summarize the rule, ito lang yan. If you will multiply two integers with like signs, like this one, positive, positive, negative, and negative, it will give you the product of a positive integer. And if you will multiply integers with different signs, like this one, negative, positive, positive, negative, it will give you the product of negative. Now, let's apply the rule. In number 1, we are given 6 times negative 8. So, it is important to know the sign of each integer. In this case, 6 times negative 8, your 6 is positive, while the other is negative. So, as you can see, based on the rules, different signs, that will give you negative answer. And then, multiply the numbers. 6 times 8 is definitely equal to 48. Therefore, the correct answer for number 1 is negative 48. So, ganun lang siya kasimple, guys. Okay? Now, let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given negative 5 times negative 9. As you can see, negative and negative, same sign. So, the answer is positive. So, if your answer is positive, no need to write the positive sign. Okay? So, negative times negative is positive, then 5 times 9 is 45. So, instead of positive 45, your answer should be simply 45 because it is already understood na positive yan if wala siyang sign or symbol. Okay, guys? Now, let's move on with number 3. Number 3... Ito, sobrang simple lang nito ah. We have 10 times 3. Your 10 is positive. Your 3 is another positive. So, positive ang sagot natin dito. And simply multiply 10 and 3. That will give you the answer of 30. Thank you guys. Okay? Now, let's move on with number 4. For number 4, sir, uh, we only have one integer. No. As you can see, we have here negative 4 raised to the second power. Here, your exponent 2 indicates that we will multiply negative 4 twice to itself. So, parang ganito yung magiging form niya. Negative 4, enclosed by parentheses, times negative 4. Okay? So, 1 and 2, ayun ang ibig sabihin ng exponent of 2. And as you can see, the two integers are both negative, or in other words, same sign, Negative times negative, that is positive. No need to write the positive sign. And 4 times 4 is simply 16. And this is the answer for number 4. Okay? Let's move on with number 5. For number 5, you have negative 5 times negative 3 times positive 4. Ngayon, if you're new in multiplying integers... Pwede natin siyang ano, i-multiply 2 by 2. So, let me show you. Let's try first negative 5 times negative 3. 
Okay? So, that will give you the answer of positive 15. And then your 15 times positive 4. And that will give you the answer of 60. And here's the final answer for number 5. Pero, if sanay ka na, pwede mo gawin dito, multiply, the sign, multiply mo muna yung signs. Negative times negative. Again, negative times negative is positive. So, we know that the product is positive. And then, times another positive, that is positive. And then, 5 times 3, that is 15. Times 4, that will give you still the answer of 60. Diba? Ganun lang siya Next, number 6. Negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3 times negative 4. 2 by 2, we will multiply them ito muna by pair tayo. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Then for this pair, negative 3 times negative 4, that is equal to 12. So as you can see, we simplified them by pair. And we can still multiply these two integers, 2 times 12, that is equal to 24. And we can consider this as final answer. So try pa rin natin, eh. Check natin. This is 24. Okay. Now, let's try. Yung continuous tayo. Negative times negative is positive. Times negative, that is negative. Times negative, that is positive. Then 1 times 2 is 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 that is 24. So I hope na natuto kayo sa mismo video natin on how to multiply integers. Remember the rule. Same signs, dalawang integers na same signs, negative, negative, positive, positive, positive answer. Different signs, negative answer. So uh, for your activity, this is number 7. So let me adjust the paper. For number 7, the given is this. Try to multiply negative 7 times 4. What do you think is the answer for this? Okay guys, so I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to multiply integers. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!